Hi Floss Tube, it's Kelly with uh, Minimalism in the Making and it is the 16th of September. It is 11.30 a.m. Um, it's been over a month. I can't remember. I don't know what number this is. Um, can't remember the last video. But here I am. Um, Let's see, it's almost mid-September. August uh, was a lot, a lot of stuff. Um, not any time to video. It was, uh, it was the end of summer and we were doing all kinds of things. Um, anyway, in addition to all those things, I still did some stitching, I did some quilting, I did some knitting. Um, mostly, though, was uh, outside with the family, camping, and um, doing various outdoor-related, water-related things. I went camping like four times, I think, in that, uh, in like a four to six week period. Um, it was fun. Uh, had a minor surgery, um, where for some reason I started a whole bunch of things. I started a whole bunch of, um, projects during a few days of recovering from that. Um, went to a rodeo, uh, School started all kinds of all kinds of things have happened in the last several weeks also a couple finishes um, as well so uh, let's get into the cross stitch this is um, a crafty channel also um, with an effort toward minimalizing no minimizing my crafty footprint to a point where I don't need a separate space for all of those things in my house or elsewhere and um, while maintaining craftiness and crafty productivity so um, there's a lot of crafty stuff uh, on this channel and a little bit of minimalism stuff but for this video, um, I've got a lot of, well, I've got some cross stitch that's going to be first and then um, a quilt and some knitting. So um, that's, that's that. So first of all, this I finished. And this is called Winter in the Woods and it is by, uh, I'm going to put it below because it's, it's written down on something else. Um, but I finished this and put it in this hoop that is, it looks old to me. I think it's old. Um, the wood is really nice and, um, smooth and hard and it's it's just not a hoop that um looks like you could get in like a joann's or michael's right now so um and the top of it is like i don't know it just comes together with the hardware and the the angled um Cut in it, it comes together differently than the ones that I see that are like current, um, kind of cheap uh, hoops that you could buy right now at Joann's or Michael's or somewhere like that. So anyway, I found this hoop in, um, I think I found it in my sister-in-law's bag of stuff to get rid of when she cleaned out um, one of her rooms at her house. So anyway, this was free, a free hoop that I really like and I think it's really cute and I'm not really a hoop finish finisher, but this um, 
I, I did this um, chart, this uh, pattern, exactly as it was written, exactly as it was charted. So it was, um, it's uh, obviously finished in the round and um, I just thought it would look really cute in a hoop. So I have yet to obviously trim the fabric and fully finish it. I, because, actually, because it was, it is so um, close to the size of the chart of the um, project, I just wanted to leave it in the hoop for a little while and look at it and make sure I was happy with how close it is to these couple little leaves. I centered it as best I could and it is very, very um, tight. There's like basically no margin. So I just wanted to double check that I um, like it like that and I do. It's been in here for a couple weeks now and I've been periodically looking at it. So I'm going to fully like trim, trim this off and make it like fully finished in this and I think it'll be really really cute to go just maybe up against ah, up against some books in the library on a shelf in the library so anyway that's winter in the woods and I will put who designed it um below um okay so the other the other cross stitch finish I have is um called Mona and it is um, it's from I went to the I rediscovered the library I've not been to the library I used to go all the time and constantly have books checked out and I don't know what happened but I, I haven't hadn't been to the library for like years and um, Anyway, so I rediscovered the library. There are like tons of libraries within walking and easy driving distance from me. And so there's like, I have no excuses. And um, the membership to the library is free here. So anyway, I rediscovered the library and I found um, the Mr. X Stitch book. And I actually, so much time has gone by now that I checked it out stitched this from the book from a chart in the book and turned the book back in so I don't have it to show but um, the um, the book is Mr. X Stitch and well let's just pull it up okay so Mr. X Stitch guide to cross stitch and this is what it looks like that's the cover of the book so um, it's uh, there's also an X stitch magazine um, and I've stitched a couple things out of there too uh, so it just he's got fun stuff in there so this is called Mona. It's a, a real small um, Mona Lisa, and it was really fun to stitch. It's a full coverage, and it's on 14 count white. It's just a, a piece of Ada that was in a kit that I didn't use. Um, and so, anyway, really like that. It was fun. It's I'm gonna get a cute like gilded looking frame for it somewhere. I don't have it yet, so that'll be something that I'm on the hunt for, and uh, we'll put this in the library as well probably. And so that's it for finishes. I started a ton of stuff. I had the same whips going on for quite some time, and then. Um, I had a few days where I basically stayed in bed most of the time and um, just recovering from a minor thing and um, I stitched a bunch but I also like 
started a ton of new stuff. And I'm okay with that. It wasn't planned. It was very, um, like, I don't know, random. But I had things kind of ready to go and somewhat kitted. And so one of the things was is from this book, Santa's Great Book. And it is the Santa Moon. So um, the Santa beard kind of comes down into a crescent moon shape. So I got pretty far on that. Um, and so that's in the basket of whips now. And um, that's on the same fabric as the Winter in the Woods, um, what was left over from that one. I also started a new bird, which is the um, painted bunting from Zephyr Mood on Etsy. And I have a very small start on that. I also don't have a good picture of it. It's a PDF pattern and there's, it's kind of like the picture is the chart. So, oh, here's, here's my shitty pixelated picture. So that's kind of what that's going to look like. But it's on this um, piece of Ada that I had dyed with blue food coloring after Easter. And so it is, um, the, the piece is a little bit smaller than um, the branch. So I can get the whole bird in and most of the branch and some leaves, but I might just cut the branch off at the ends. Well, I'm going to have to because this piece of Ada isn't going to be big enough. And I knew that when I started it and I'm fine with that. Um, another one that I started that I don't think I've shown. And I also don't have a picture of it. It's from a magazine, but it's this um, dandelion seed pod thing situation. So it has a ton of um, what are those called? French knots. So the, the reason that I wanted to do this is because there's a, I think there's a French knot at the end of every single one of these things that I haven't, I haven't started the French knots yet. So I'm going to get all these in and then, um, I just figured that it would be a good way to practice French knots is to do a chart that's almost all French knots. I don't know. I haven't started those yet. I haven't actually gotten to the knots, so we'll see. But um, I might, I don't, I honestly don't have any feelings about French knots because I haven't done them. So um, that's the whole point of doing that chart is just to see how they go and, and get some practice. The other thing I started that I hadn't planned on starting, but it just seemed like a good idea at the time is this Oh Christmas Tree by All Through the Night. Um, I started this on a piece of mint um it's pretty minty minty green well i don't know it's it's light green so it's either minty green or oops that's like part of the chart um it's either minty green or like sea foamy green depending on who you are i guess and so i'm using this um Variegated green floss from um, 
Oh, God. This, I can't even see what I'm doing. From, um... Oh, the, so I'm using the DMC variegated, and it is 4045 is the DMC number. Um, I'm really happy with it. And I know Weeks Dye Works has one that's almost identical, but um, I like the DMC better, I think. Or I know. And then um, Cassie Jo Stitches had, I saw this... Um, Quite a while ago she was working on on her floss tube and she um, made the birds red or at least one bird when I saw it so I copied that and then I'm also like there's these um, there are uh, these like quilty looking stars throughout. To me, they look like quilt blocks. So, um, I left those, I haven't done those yet. I haven't stitched those. That's why there's blank spots on this right here and here and here. Um, because I might change those to a different color too, but I just haven't decided. I don't want to like change a bunch of stuff and then, and then not be happy with it because it's like lost its design quality that it started with um because it is a monochrome design um so I'm undecided on that but for now I'm fine just stitching the rest of it leaving those blank and deciding um later so let's see I started oh <laughs> okay when I was a kid, and like it's never stopped. So, but when I was a kid, um, I got I was pretty obsessed with um, Suzy Zoo, which is a uh, Suzy Zoo is like I don't know, maybe you know what it is, but if not, it's a um, it's a bunch of illustrated characters. Um, by Susie Spafford, who's an artist. Yes. Um, I'm just checking her name. So yes, that's right. Anyway, so this is Susie and she has a bunch of friends. This isn't all of them. And then there's dogs and cats too. And they live in, um, let's see, this is called the dogs of Duckport. So they live in this imaginary place called Duckport anyway. I still have a coffee mug that I use regularly from, uh, that my best friend gave me for my birthday when I was 12. And it is, it has Susie Zoo and all her friends on it. So maybe next video I will, I should have brought it up, but I didn't think about it. Anyway, there's a big design of the dogs of, of um, Duckport. This is like a mini, it's just like a part of it. It's sort of a mini version of it. Um, the big one is, it's good size and it comes as a kit from um, Jan Lin. But I found this like basically smaller rendition of it and um, this is my first kit that I've, I didn't, um, this is basically my first like full kit that I've, purchased and um, I have a small start so basically here's my start and it is I'm, I started at the top so it's like this right here and then these two tops of the picket fence are here I'm doing it on this like powdery blue um, Ada that I had <laughs> So while this is my first complete kit, I actually didn't use the fabric from the kit. The fabric from this um, kit is this piece right here. So it was nice to just have this little piece to pick up and do a quick little stitch out of a library book. Um, so 
I'm glad I saved that. But anyway, this is cute, and it it's just very, um, I'm a dog person, and this little wiener dog looks like our little wiener dog, and um, honestly, like, I've never had a sheep dog, but it doesn't matter. Like, they're all cute, and um, Susie Zoo, uh, I just have fond memories from childhood that whenever I see a Susie Zoo thing anywhere, brings that back for me so um that's kind of weird and random but it's uh it makes sense to me so I think that's I think those are all the new starts that I had um I'm still you know I haven't worked on so I'm just gonna show my whips like all the rest of my whips um some of them though I probably I don't even think I've worked on in August but Honestly, I can't remember. So this is my um, Trans Pride Tapestry so far. And I'm, I've am i started on the... Um, I started in the upper right and went down. And I'm kind of like going toward... I think this, I think this is the bottom. This is definitely the upper right corner. And I think it goes down this far, if I remember correctly. I could just also look at the thing. Yep. Um, and I, I don't like the D5200 that's called for. Um, so I'm changing. I'm going to change that. And I just haven't figured out what I'm changing it to. But it's just... It's just so hard to work with. And I'm not using the like recommended fabric. And this is a 20 count, Ada, and it's kind of stiff. And I think that that has a lot to do with why I'm not liking that uh, thread. So I did. I got to that part and I did a little bit of it. I bought it, I tried it. Um, there's not much in there. I'm gonna pull it out and sub it, sub something else in for it. So I just haven't done that yet. I haven't like figured out what I'm gonna do for that. Um, the other one, I know that I actually did work on this. Some, some is the Flea Market Flowers by Lori Holt. And um, I have worked on that a little more. So here's where I'm at with that. And I'm doing it on 16 count something I don't know what the color name is but it's Cosmo 16 count Ada from Fat Photoshop, Shop and I really like it because it's very soft and I do all of my stitching in hand and it's pretty much perfect for that um I also am working on this um this is a bad picture but it's a pdf and that's the best I could do the November Joyful World, and it's got a peacock, and I switched up some of the colors, um, and this is what I have so far, and I also had changed the fabric for this series, because I had, I had started this series a few times on some different fabric, and this is, um, so far I'm really happier with this fabric, which is uh, 28, 28 count Lugana in wheat right here so um okay let me just see if there's anything else that might be it because I do have some more stuff in here but it's not it's just um Kit it up, not started. So yeah, that's it for whips, finishes, and new starts. And um, I, yeah, I'm not gonna. Well, yeah, I don't. My kitted ones don't have good pictures to show anyway. Um, I need to print. I need to go over and print some stuff on my color printer so I have it. Um, the other. So that's it for cross stitch. I have one knitting project that has been kind of lingu lingering for a while 
Um, and it's these shorts. I had already made one pair for someone else, and now I'm making a pair for myself. These are knit shorts. I love them. I also love all these pictures with, I mean, come on. So I basically am trying to use up some yarn that I had already. So I didn't buy these, this for these shorts, but um, this is, um, I think this is Knitted Wit. Actually, I have the tag. Yes. It's Knitted Wit DK. And um, I think this is Golden Delicious. This is um, the their solid um, black color. And this is like a tonal, tonal green. Anyway, so they're coming along. I'm to the point now where um, I'm splitting for the legs. So that's it for knitting and then um, quilting. So I do have a quilt that I um, worked on over the summer that a friend of mine asked me to make um, for basically commissioned me to make. So he bought all of the supplies and I have been working on it. Um, all summer and it's done. So I'm going to mail it. Okay, this is too big to show, but I'm gonna kind of, this is all um, flea, flea market flowers fabric from Lori Holt. Uh, this is a square quilt. Actually, it's upside down. Okay. So basically, I mean, it's not, there is no upside down. It's just, it's just um, triangles. But I started in this corner and basically like, um, did I say it's square? The whole thing is square, it's 72 inches. But I started in this corner and then just like paired prints to make these. Um, squares and then I and then I um, so these rows go all the way diagonally from end to end and then um, so it's sort of rainbowy there's like pink red or there's a little bit of gray here pink red orange yellow some greens and then a whole bunch of blues and then um, so this corner from end to the other end is basically the center diagonal. Um, and so then down the other side, I just mirrored, I mirrored all the rows that I had already done and they got shorter and shorter and shorter again going on the diagonal until the end. And you can tell that it's weird because it uh, seems like maybe this gray should be over here to end it because that's how I started it up here, but it's not, I said mirrored, I don't know if that's right. It basically, it's like the same all the way down. Like these stripes are, these diagonal stripes are facing the same direction as they are up here. So everything's going one way. And I actually, once this was all done, I wasn't sure about this, but I stuck with my original plan. And now that it's done, I really like that this sort of like catches the eye. Um, I don't like things to be too super uniform. So anyway, it works for me. And um, I backed it in this yellow with kind of like, uh, greenish, tealish, um, and white flowers. And then, and I bound it that way too. And I did the long arm quilting in like 
a bunch of, um, ah, I don't know what to call these. It's basically a bunch of swirl circles, circles with swirls of different sizes. And that's just over and over again, what it, what the quilting is. So that was a free, that was free motion on a long arm quilter. And then the back has a detail. So the back is all of this except for, is that in, yeah, there's like a patch of, it's just a pinwheel kind of thing. Now I'm talking into the quilt. Um, yeah, so there's like this pinwheel patch happening here. Just randomly placed in the back, kind of in one of the lower corners. So that is that. And um, I finished a bunch of, well, a bunch, like four quilt tops and took all the stuff out to my mom my mom's house or my parents house um which is a few hours drive from here and I just did, had like a quilting extravaganza weekend um a couple weeks ago and just quilted all of the things so um I have more quilts that need to be bound which I do by hand so it takes a little longer um but I do enjoy that because it's nice to hand sew for me um that's it that's it so anyway um I don't want to go this long again because it for whatever stupid reason it's like creates anxiety like the longer I don't do a video uh like the harder it seems to be to do it and um I know that's a thing it's not just my thing it happens to people I don't know why um so I want to go back to doing like weekly stuff as long as I have stuff to show. Um, so I'm going to try to do that. And um, anyway, in the meantime, um, happy September and uh, that's it. See you next time.